welcome to another video so here we are just after christmas stomach full of cheese and meat and i just feel dreadful so it's a time to get out and have a bit of a fish so we're down at south ellen lakes today we're going to be doing a bit of trout fishing today so just get the boots on get a gear together let's head down to the lake it looks quite busy at the moment but uh, we'll see how we get on weather's not bad at all really considering it's supposed to be gale force winds today it's absolutely flat as a witch's tit but that looks nice I think what we'll do is we'll go over to the island which is one of my favorite spots over there and give that a go over there nothing on the surface but you don't expect at this time of the year I know looking good looking very very good not as many down as what I thought there is not that busy to be honest I thought it was gonna be a lot busier than what it actually is there's only two fish in this lake that we're on today so we're on Froghall Lake we're on today so this is a fishery of four lakes um, only three of them have uh, trout in them so it's a 30 quid day ticket for three fish and uh, three release um, so yeah looking forward to giving it a go so today I'm going to be using the infinite fly by rigged and ready today so this is a two-in-one fly rod this is a four weight and a six weight and there are some big fish in this lake so I think what we'll do is we'll set this up as a six weight with a sinking line to start off with and probably just a booby just to see how we get on but uh, yeah looking forward to it and it's been a while since I've been out on the fly fishing due to this blooming leg injury but uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad today all right let's get the old flies out so i think we'll start off with a booby let's see what we got left in here from i haven't used these for a while actually we'll start off with a good old faithful i think just that little white booby there so i'm going to fish this on a on a sinking line and there's about a two foot tip it about 5x tip it just off the top of the the sinking line there so that what will happen is the sinking line sinks to the bottom and then this will sit two foot off there and it's just going to be a tap 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 just a tiny little tap 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 just to see how we get on but uh that's how we'll start off but there are a few jumping around on the surface so i might go over to some buzzers in a bit but uh we'll give it a go with this one first and see how we get on well first cast it's been a while since i've done some fly fishing There we go, lovely old job, I know he's off. So I'm going to go move over the other side of the lake because I'm getting covered in mud over there. Give it a go over yonder, see how we get on. Nice conditions though, water's really nice and a few other lads are catching. But as usual, I'm not. I was literally just about to turn the camera on. And then this just snapped. So I've just swapped over to a floating line and I've just got a blue damsel sitting, gold-headed blue damsel, sitting uh, about three foot. And this just smashed into it. And he likes that. He likes that. Hey, come on. It is a good... Yeah. Well, we're not blanking. That's the main thing. We got one and literally just swapped over to a floating line and then just suspending a gold-headed damsel about three foot underneath and he came up and smashed it. So at least we got one. That's the main thing. Get this on the stringer and let's hope to get another one. Right, let's get another. I think that wind that was forecast 
is now coming in. Uh, getting cold as well. Well, let's get another. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> He's shot off. He has shot off. Come on. Hey. Well, there we go, number two. And the weather has really, really turned. I think I'm probably going to smash another one out. I'm not going to bother going for catch and release, I don't think. But yeah, you can't beat a good stocky, can you really, for a little bit of fight. And uh, once you know how they're feeding, uh, you know, it can be one after another. So yeah, well impressed with that. And uh, let's go get number three. Fish. There we go. Oh, he come off. He come off. There we are. Number three. That was definitely worth moving around here. And changing tactics as well. There we are, number three. Come on. that's a good fish well that's probably the best one today i think that is a nice size stocky anyway that's number three done i think it's time to go warm up inside the cabin for a bit and work out whether we're going to go catch and release or not oh that's better God, let's warm the old hands up. Actually, I think we'll give these a clean first before we warm these up, because I am absolutely covered in mud. How nice is it to come in out of the cold in front of a nice wood burner and just warm up? It's absolutely brilliant facilities here. It really is. You've got this lovely little fisherman's lodge here. I think they rent it out in the summer as well. There's a fridge, microwave, kettle. You've got the sofa, table. You've also got the toilet up there with a the shower as well. So it's a really, really nice little facility, you know, and for 30 quid, it's not too bad. You know, unfortunately, a lot of trout fisheries have really bumped up their prices over the last couple of years. So for 30 quid for three fish and uh, three uh, catch and release as well, I don't think it's too bad. So I'm just going to warm up, I think, get my feeling back in my fingers and have a brew. And uh, I think we'll wander over to the other lake and do a bit of catch and release. Oh, right, let's have a sit down next to the fire and a brew. Oh, lovely. Well, it's been a brilliant day so far. Yeah, really, really impressed with it. Three fish, you know, straight off the bat as soon as got the right sort of uh, right tactics for it as well. I was quite surprised to see them so high up in the water, to be honest. But it is overcast. Normally, when the light, you know, it gets really bright, they drop down in the water, but they're still about two, three foot up there. So we've got uh, three fish in the bag. We've got the three fish catch and the release as well. So we'll take the old rod up and uh, we'll give that a bash in a bit. Really impressed with that rod, the uh, two-in-one in, uh, Infinity Fly by Rigged and Ready. Brilliant, brilliant fly rod. It's, uh, it's worth a lot more than what it costs. It really is. It casts so, so well. There's a review video on the channel. I'll stick a link to that up the top there if you fancy taking a look at that. And don't forget the 5% discount on any of the rigged and ready travel rods. They're absolutely brilliant. They really, really are. I absolutely swear by them. And pretty much they're all the rods that I'm using at the moment. Right, so let's get this finished. And let's get on the other lake and uh, let's catch another three. Let's give it a go here. Fishing into the wind. Let's see how we go.
I've never actually caught anything in this lake before. So it'll be interesting. There has been a few fish come out today. We had a tug then. We had a tug. There we are. There we go. Oh, that's a good sized fish. That's a nice rainbow. Look at him. Yeah, that is a cracker. Oh, come on. There we are. That's a nice fish. So we'll quickly unhook him and we'll get him back. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Oh, he's shot off. He is not showing. If I land this, this will be amazing. That is a decent, decent fish. Oh, I do not want to lose this one. Where the hell is he going? Oh, no way. No way. Come on, come on, come on. That is a monster. Do not want to lose him. <laughs> you got a bigger net. <laughs> that is a monster. Look at him. No way. Come on, come on, come on. Do not want to lose him. <laughs> come on. It's a brownie as well. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, unbelievable. An absolute beast. Wow. Look at that for a beast. What an absolute butte brownie. Let's get this one back. Come on. Run away. There he goes. That was definitely worth coming out. Oh, I'll gash myself up here somehow. That was definitely worth coming back out for some catch and release, that was. What a clonking fish. How big do you reckon he was? I'm not too sure. I'd say about five, five pound fish. Right, let's try and get the last one to be bigger than that. Absolutely amazed by that. Well chuffed, well chuffed. My hands are still shaking after that last fish. Let's hope we get one bigger on the last fish of the day. There we go, fish on, fish on. He's a good size as well. That's another brownie, I think. That's a good size fish. He's keeping his head down. Yeah, another brownie. And he's in the net. But he unhooks nicely. But there we are. Last fish of the day. It's been brilliant down here. I've really, really enjoyed it. Let's get this one back really quickly. Oh, and off you go. She's away. Right, well, that will do for today. That was been an absolute brilliant day. Really, really enjoyed myself. I've had my three fish to feed the neighbours with. I've put three fish back. One of them was an absolute beast of a fish. What an absolute cracking, cracking brownie that was. Probably my biggest brownie that I've caught that was. So well impressed with myself. Really, really enjoyed it down here. So I say, it's a brilliant, brilliant little fishery. I'll stick a link to them in the description below if you fancy coming down and taking a visit down here. And nice to catch something out of this lake here because I've always blanked every time I've 
fish this lake. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us on this little trip today. My name's Martin. I'm into my hiking, my fishing, my bushcraft, and just generally being outdoors. If you're new to the channel, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on the next one.